Tell me something good. Rita's sister just walked in. <sighs> good. Just in time. How's John doing? Uh, surgery's tomorrow. No, no. There, there isn't time, Sandy. You've got to start taking care of Matthew right now. Two umbrellas. Ah, it's nice to have a friend that knows the real you. Are you here for Tom? I don't know yet. I'm still waiting for the call. It's all in the wrist. Okay. Here, just pop it out there. Try again. Andrew, there's an angel named Monica who works in enunciations. Now, she won't be dealing with you directly, but certain messages must be given. Certain arrangements must be in place in the event that you fail. Sam, I... I can't remember ever failing before. I've, I've always had the truth on my side. That's, that's always seemed to be enough. Andrew, you're one of my very best caseworkers, but angels do fail. You see anything back there? No. No. <laughs> There's nothing out back. He doesn't like to lose. He'd do anything to see that his network is number one. Is that his dream? No. He just wants to be first now, but there was a time when he wanted to be the best. What could I possibly say in 60 seconds that could make a difference? Sometimes it only takes a minute to change everything. With wings. That man is impossible. His heart, his mind, his soul are closed like... What's the matter, Andrew? There's something that you need to know. I was with her all night. And then she knew that there wasn't a lot of time. And she was... She was in a lot of pain. But she never complained. And this morning, she left with a smile. And no regrets. Well, one. McKenna. There was something that she wanted him to have. I don't know. Kind of like your idea for that angel show. Nah, it'd never work. Would you do me a favor? Yes. Do you know an angel named Monica? Alex is about to skate. Do you want to come down and wish her well? I don't want to break her concentration. Well, that's not the way she sees it. She says she won't be able to concentrate until she talks to you. your hand what's going on here when did you get to be a card shark andrew's teaching me so i can win gus's soul back you're gonna beat the devil at his own game there's a powerful sorrow in a dead body don't you feel it every day Andrew, who is Dewey Burton supposed to lead me to? Ivar. He's the key. The pathologist? He's the one to save the little girl. And you've only got four hours. Andrew, how's she doing? Keep an eye on Dylan. I'll see what I can find out. They're in shock. It's going to be a long trip back. Well, we know where to begin, don't we? Hi. I'm glad you're okay. I'm Andrew. 
I believe you're William. Yes, sir. I'm William. William Kitchell. It's nice to meet you. Andrew. Monica, this is Dr. Akat. Oh, the famous Dr. Joe. It's an honor to meet you. Thank you. So kind of you to help us. So, how did you manage this? The ambassador was recently visited by an angel. I'm on the A-list now. Come on. Wonderful idea. Why don't we resume at Stacy's house of hair? Great. <laughs> Follow me. Excuse me, Miss Wings, but I believe your group is walking off without you. Tess, isn't it wonderful? No one was getting along and they weren't paying attention. And then swoosh, everyone got wet and everything changed. Just one big swoosh, huh? Imagine that. Tess? It's not the first time a flood changed everything. What's she doing? It's gonna be close. difference. One can look into someone's heart except the father. And God did that. And that night when it was time to talk to Jordan's heart, the father sent you. Yeah. I'm afraid he did. Andrew. You take care of Molly. I'd like to stay for the memorial service before I have to go. Of course, B. 